In this video, we will show you how to set up Apogee One and GarageBand on iPad, iPhone, or iPod and begin recording. To follow this tutorial, you will need one for Mac and iPad, iOS 7 or greater, a compatible iPhone, iPad, or iPod Touch, and GarageBand 2 or greater. Open GarageBand. Create a new song by pressing the plus button and choosing Create a New Song. For the purpose of this tutorial, choose Audio Recorder, as we will start with using one's internal microphone. Click on the Input Settings button and turn Monitor on. Now select Input Source. With one, you can record one instrument and one microphone of your choice at the same time. The instrument input is always on. For now, select Internal Mic and Instrument. In GarageBand, left channel is Channel 1 and right channel is Channel 2. Since we are going to record with the microphone first, choose left channel. One can control input and output level with a single knob. The four icons on the top panel indicate which input or output source you have selected. We have internal mic selected, so you will see the internal mic icon is lit. Plug in your headphones or powered speakers. Adjust your levels. Press record in GarageBand's transport control and begin recording. Now if you want to record electric guitar, bass, or any instrument with a pickup in it, create a new track in GarageBand by clicking on Instruments and selecting Guitar Amp. Make sure input channel is set to right channel and monitor is set to on. Connect your instrument to one's quarter inch instrument cable. Now select the guitar icon on one, adjust your level. Now just select an amp and you are ready to record. Here's another quick tip. By default, GarageBand for iOS is set for 8 bars of recording. To have a longer recording time, press the tiny plus button on the far right at the top. Tap on section A and set a higher bar count. Or turn on automatic and not have a bar limitation at all.